This is everything you need to know about a steam engine in under four minutes. Here we have a steam locomotive. It has two double acting engines, one on either side. The rest is pretty much along for the ride. There's a boiler that generates steam for the engines and a tender that carries the fuel and water the boiler needs. The double acting engine was in use for nearly 150 years and is based on a very simple and elegant concept. When you strip everything down to the basics, all you need to do is move a piston back and forth in a chamber. That's it. To do this, you create a channel connecting each side of the chamber to a supply of steam. Then you supply high pressure steam first to one side of the chamber, then the other, forcing the piston to move from one end to the other. A sliding valve controls which side of the piston is connected to the high pressure steam and connects the other side to the exhaust. As long as there's a supply of pressurized steam at the inlet, the piston will continue to move back and forth. For most machinery, a rotating shaft is more useful than an oscillating piston. So the piston is connected to a crank and the crank rotates. Each time the piston stops and changes direction, there's a dead zone where the engine produces no power. To overcome this, a flywheel is attached to the shaft. The flywheel's momentum carries the piston past the dead centers so that steam can once again enter the chamber and move the piston through the rest of its power stroke. Finally, a connecting rod links the rotating shaft to the sliding valve, keeping it perfectly synchronized with the piston. These are the essential components of a double acting engine. Steam was used because it's pretty easy to make. As long as you have a supply of clean water and a source of heat, you can generate steam in a pressurized tank called a boiler. The boiler is connected to the engine with pipes, valves, and other equipment. This arrangement powered trains, ships, and all sorts of machinery late into the 20th century. As it turns out, the double acting engine can also run on compressed air. If you have some power tools, you can build one of these engines out of wood from plans available online. If you'd rather build from a kit, we've developed an inexpensive working engine that you can build with little more than glue and sandpaper. It can be connected to an air compressor, or you can run it on a vacuum cleaner. Click subscribe to follow us along as we bring this kit to market. Check out the test builds, refinements, and be the first to find out where to get one. And that is all you need to know about a steam engine in four minutes or less.